Matt here. So I want to go over different Google bands. So Google bands IPs for different rules uh, based on different things. So for instance, if you have a basic keyword like cook, that has one set of IP band rules. But if you use advanced operators, like say I put in in URL, cook in title food, that is a different level. So I can actually have IP addresses and proxies, for instance, that are banned from using advanced operators like this and return an IP blocked, but will search for just regular keywords. Same thing goes for page rank checking. I can have um, IPs that will return searches for regular keyword, keywords like um, cook or test or car or anything and not allow you to check page rank because they're banned for page rank checking. So Google uses all kinds of different band rules and it's all about how fast you go. So for instance, if I wanted to uncheck the multi-threaded harvester here, so I'm using the single threaded harvester like this, then I can do that and we can go ahead and we can search for um, something here. And I've got a proxy in here that I've already got banned for advanced operators. So if I hit start harvesting, we'll see an IP block. See, there we have uh, air 302 IP blocked received using that proxy because I'm using advanced operators. However, if I just put in a basic keyword like cook and hit start harvesting, now it'll actually pull results. And so it's starting off slow, but you can see it's pulling results and it's not returning an immediate IP blocked. So there's just a simple example of how one IP address from Google can return different things. Now that happened to be with the Google down here, google.com, and that's just in Spanish, but if I go regular google.com, um, it can have different ban rules, but um, we can do a test with that as well, for instance, and see there it's pulling results. And then if we go up here and do something like and harvest here, then we can see immediately that it's an IP blocked. So, and then we can go ahead and do page rank checking, for instance and see that it's checking page rank. So it's checking page rank with that proxy, yet it is not allowing it to pull advanced operator searches and it'll do regular keyword searches. So there's a quick example of how Google uses different um, methods for banning the IP based on different types of searches. So if you're doing a search and it comes back with an you know, it's not returning any results. It could be because it's blocked for that type of search or those advanced operators or that page rank checking, that sort of thing. And you can check that out under the, um, the single threaded harvester by unchecking this. The other thing you want to know is that when you use the proxy harvester, either the new proxy harvester or the old proxy harvester, it only checks for basic keyword searches. So it does not check advanced operator searches. It doesn't check for page rank. So you can have proxies that can pass the Google test, but then you throw in some advanced operators like this and they can fail. And that's because they're banned for those, but not for the other. And the proxy harvester only checks for basic keyword searches. It doesn't check for anything else. And the reason it doesn't check for anything else is because ban rules on things like this this advanced operators and page rank checking those rules are a lot tighter than they are for basic keyword searches the rules are a lot looser for those so if you had a bunch of people uh, proxy checking um, public proxies for advanced operators and page rank checking and various things you could actually ban the proxies just through the proxy checking and no one would ever even be able to get any results so that's why it only checks for basic keyword searches but you can check them yourself by using a single threaded harvester and um, doing a little bit of uh, simple footwork there and uh, that is how Google bans different IPs or bans IPs based off of different rules.